just take the mail and the grips came in. This is the last piece that will complete the PW80 build. So I'm pretty excited to get those grips and throttle tube on. Now I was trying to be budget friendly with this build, so I got a $6 grip and throttle tube set. Absolutely from China, but I think it'll do for this bike. Yeah, these are not very, uh, Hacky. They're more of a plastic consistency, which kind of sucks, but it came with a throttle tube, which is always good. Since the stock airbox is all taken apart and it's really expensive to find parts for it, I opted in for a high performance uni filter. You just bolt it right on and it really increases the performance. So let's get that on. All oiled and ready to go. All right, it's all oiled up so we can get it bolted up. It's gonna be a tight fit. All right guys, so I got some new jets in the mail. Finally came in after like a week, but I'm gonna get these open, crack open that carb, and we'll find out what's making it run squirrely. Well, after spilling gas all over the floor, got the carb open. We're gonna check out those jets. Here's the old pilot jet. Pretty sure it's a 
25? I don't know what they come with. Oh no, I think it's a 15. But I read, on, I read online that for the FMF system that I have, you need a 35 pilot, which I have right here in this package. This 35 pilot that I ordered should give us the fuel that we need because this thing's running really lean, so it doesn't give me any power. New pilot jet is now in. Now we're gonna get that main jet out, replace it with the bigger one here. This is the old main jet. I think they come with 110s. I'm gonna bump that up to a 130, so it's gonna give us a lot more fuel. Man, we got a bag inside of a bag inside of a bag. Check that out. What do you know? Frustration free packaging at its best. Alrighty, we got a 130 pilot jet. That thing's huge. You guys probably can't see that, but yeah, that's gonna give us the fuel we need. Alright, now that we got the new jets installed, this thing should run a lot richer. All right, let's see how she sounds with those new jets in. All right, let's see if she runs off a choke or at all. All right, I'm gonna get that carb out and I'm gonna just mess with the jets and see what I can find. Um, I think putting both the main jet and the pilot jet in there made it a little too rich. So I'm gonna try removing the pilot jet and putting in the old one, see how that works. And then I'm gonna see what doing the same with the main jet would do. Also guys, as you can see, there is a change of scenery here. It's cause I'm at my mom's house. So we brought some pitters over just to have some fun. But yeah, I'm gonna get that carb out. She smells like two stroke.
<laughs> ah, I love it, dude. Oh, that is memories. Those gear ratios on this PWEs are just awesome. Oh my gosh, that thing is so cool. That thing is a beast. Dude, that thing is awesome. <laughs> Bebo! It flies in a straight line. Yeah. It flies in a straight line. Uh, but my gosh, the gears are too long. Yeah. I gotta shorten the gears because they're too long. But on the dirt, it's like, Bebo! And then it just has no power. Yeah. Because the gears are so long. So, I don't know, man. The jet, maybe it was. Uh, I don't know. I got it fine right now, actually. It's running pretty good. Hmm. Just gotta make sure you're in the right gear. Right. This is not set up for motocross. This is set up for like top speed trails, you know. I don't know, I think I can mess with the uh, the gear ratio. Shorten the gears a little, you know. Doing the sprockets, I think that's- Oh yeah. Really the only thing I can do.